John, after a, a couple of defeats at the Falkirk Stadium, how nice is it to get back to, to winning ways today? Very nice. Very, very nice, yeah. Difficult game, you know, Edinburgh came with a game plan to frustrate and to sit deep and uh, we probably looked like no intention of trying to win the game, you know. We're the only team trying to win the game and uh, that's difficult, it really is, unless you've played the game or been in these situations. It's difficult to break down, you know. We can do that in training and set up like that and it's very difficult to break down. We've done that this week trying to break down a low block and it's extremely difficult, you know, so enormous credit to our players, you know, big, big character, big personality today to, to come up against a team second in the league who have came here to uh, frustrate us and to make it difficult, which is fine, you know, we've got to do, uh, we've got to make sure we've got enough quality and we move the ball quickly enough to break through, so there's nothing wrong with any opposition doing that and it may well be that, you know, every opposition do that. Uh, we have to overcome it. Today we've showed that you can overcome it, you know, and maybe we could have scored before we scored because we still had chances in, in the first half. But it's very, very difficult to break that down. Really, really difficult. So today I'm delighted that we had two really, really, really good individual bits of ability. We, we Ola's goal and we, uh, we Leon's goal. Two excellent goals, you know. Did it surprise you? You mentioned the point rightfully. Edinburgh and any team are more, you know, entitled to do that. But but did it surprise you when they are going so well and they were second in the league prior to to kick off? Yeah, I mean, you have to go back to the last time we played Edinburgh and not long after that. You know, I know Alan. I know Alan Maybury because he was at Hearts many many years ago and I, and I was there. He's a really really good guy, great guy. And he came out and said that a few games after that they had only lost the. You know, Dunfermline and ourselves, and that they would need to do something different against us. And they went the last time they played against Dunfermline, it looked like they did something similar to that today. And they only lost with a fluky goal, may I say, uh, in the very, very you know dying moments of the game. So today we had to overcome that. So I wasn't surprised because he's actually said that they need to do something different. And when you look at what happened against Dunfermline, you can understand why they would come here today and do that. And you can understand from their point of view, if they were looking at the game last week, what Dunfermline did with regards to just come, sit in, then, you know, as I say, maybe other teams will do that. And we've got to break them down. And it's really, really difficult. It's difficult, yeah, I felt we did it really well today. Uh, obviously, Ola Lawal's had to kind of bide his time and be patient. What was it that decided you, or made you decide to, to finally bring him into the starting eleven today? Yeah. Well, Ola's came up for, for down south and uh, we had to get him up to speed, you know, his fitness-wise and all the rest of it, and, and getting used to, you know, the daily intensity of our training. Uh, it's timing, really. It's timing. He's had to go to sell his, his fitness up. He's had to... He works in the gym a lot more, so he's getting physically stronger. Uh, and it was the right moment. It was the right moment to put him in, you know. So he's been here a little while, and he's played bits and pieces, and he played really well in a bounce game we had here against our growth, you know, a couple of weeks back. Has did a few players that night. Uh, and, you know, after the last week and looking at changes to the team, we thought this is the moment to, to put Ola in. We have no doubt about his ability, you know, his ability was here today for everyone to see. He could open things up that your ordinary player can't, you know, and that's what we needed today. We knew we'd have a lot of the ball today, we knew we'd have to try and break them down, and we knew we needed someone on the park, as many as possible, and Ola's one of them who could produce something out of next to nothing, and he has done. But he's not played a lot of minutes, and for the fans who, yeah, quite rightly, he was the best player in the park, you know, why are you taking him off? Well, Ola signalled a few minutes before he came off, that he was tired, he had a signal that he wanted to come off. And that was very important that he did because he easily could have played on and injured and then he could have been out for weeks and weeks and weeks. So it's important having not played, you know, 90 minutes for such a long time and to play 90 minutes in a game where we're having to be relentless and put the foot to the floor all the time passing and moving and showing and running. That takes a lot of, a lot of energy, you know, and it was all his first start of the day. That, was, that would have been a big thing for him today, you know, a big thing. So he's probably going to lose, you know, you know, some, some energy through that as well, you know, so he actually signalled he wanted to come off and, uh, you know, so just trying to make that clear to the fans, you know, I don't know what the crowd is, but thanks very much to everyone that came along today, it still looked like a, a fairly decent crowd, a uh, big crowd, so thanks very much, we anticipated, you know, a little bit of a drop off for last week, it's just one of these things that uh, didn't manage to produce enough goods last week, but we've uh, certainly done the business today.
if Ola's uh, first goal was the one that set us on the way, uh, how crucial was Leon's? Because I have to say it was a terrific solo goal, that one. Yeah, great individual goal, absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's went on a run and it's kind of opened up and he's continued his run and, and he's, you know, it's obviously opened up even further and he's had to do a little bit of ability to get back inside and then obviously the goal's gaping and he's stuck it in the back of the net. So, very easy saying that, not so easy doing it, you know. So, he's, uh, yeah, it gave us a two goal cushion, which was been nice. It was nice, nice to get that two goal cushion. We, we, we don't do one nils, you know, we've always managed to score two, three, four goals, you know. So, uh, delighted that the guys kept on going and, you know, we, we hit the bar as well, you know, we could have, we could have added to the, to the two nil. Yeah, so delighted for, for Leon. Uh, you know, we, we encourage our fullbacks to get forward, we encourage our fullbacks to score. Uh, Big Ryan, you know, had scored from the right back position. Brad McKay went in in his very first game at right back, he scores for a set play, but he scores. So we encourage our fullbacks to get forward and to get into these positions, and I'm delighted that Leon's, you know, managed to get in the score sheet. We've got, you know, the, the goals getting shared around the team, you know, so that's another one today, too, actually, with Ola and. Leon scoring goals. Uh, the goals that were shared around this team is incredible. Uh, just finally, we've got Clyde away next week. Uh, they had a, a good result today. I believe they were 2 0 up on Dunfermline before two penalties clawed things back. But how tough a game is that going to be? And we noticed Ryan Williamson was out training pre match on the pitch. Is he possibly in contention or just a, a little bit too soon? Well, let's go one step at a time. Uh, so, Clyde, yeah, you know, we, we're going to enjoy the weekend. You know, uh, last week was very sore, very painful. And it was a horrible weekend. So we're going to enjoy it tonight because uh, it's satisfaction and that the guys are pounced back. They've showed the character, they've showed the personality to bounce back once again. And then we'll turn our attention to Clyde. As you see, we, we would say to Adam yesterday, you know, we had Clyde watch today because we, we, we do that anyway. But more specifically now, with a new manager coming in, new manager bounce, they've obviously done something right to be two goals up on. Dunfermline and it just shows again this this league although it's an end up a draw you know who would have been putting money on Clyde to be tuned up today you know and not many I don't think you know um, so it just shows you what can happen in this league so we've got to look after ourselves we've done that today we'll be ready for Clyde next week and hopefully we can go, go and do the business again Here's hoping we can John as always thanks for your time Thank you